That's that's the derby <laughs> as well too, and uh, we know the rivalry between uh, England and Scotland. Yeah, and, how big and it is. It's going to be a very very interesting uh, game as well. To Phil Neville has been saying uh, a lot, been waxing lyrical about his team a lot, how they've improved uh, in the last uh, couple of years, mm -hmm. and I actually agree yeah. uh, with him as well. So I think they they will have the beating of Scotland. If they don't beat Scotland, then that will be a very disappointing result for the three Lions uh, of. England. Let's move from the Super Falcons and the World Cup. Now let's talk about the Super Eagles of Nigeria in Asaba Delta State getting ready for tomorrow's international friendly against uh, Zimbabwe. It's a full house now. Odio Ngalo joined yeah. uh, yesterday as well too and um, everything is said but I don't think he's going to play. I mean coming in so late uh, into the camp I'll be very surprised if uh, Odio Ngalo lines up for tomorrow's match. We know he already had a shirt, man. I mean, he's one of those players that you know that no matter what, except he's injured. Yeah, he's going to play. Yeah, yeah uh, but I'm, that, talking I'm talking about, about uh, no, I'm tomorrow. Yeah, he won't play tomorrow, yeah. of course. Uh, he may not play tomorrow. I'm he won't not play. in the mind of the coach. Yeah, but what I'm play. saying is, uh, there are some players that you know that whether they play or not, it's not going to be based on selection or anything because the coach already said he's looking at two <laughs> players I mean, just two players is going to drop. Yeah. And it's going to give those players who are not fit enough to actually have opportunity to play. Mm. So if it's going to give them opportunity, the likes of Akalichi Yenacho, who have mm. had less games at this season. Leon Balongo Leon also, well. I mean, less games this season. So these are players you need to really look at, see if he's going to pick them or not. Because, mm. uh, I mean, just from camp says what that, are look, you hearing now what i'm hearing is it's going to drop one midfielder and, and one a striker attacker, attacker. really so, so, so i'm like that's no the way. Just coming so i'm like who are you going to drop uh okay you, you know what we'll, we'll, we'll come back to that in a bit now hopefully when uh ben Alai joins us uh, uh but let's in get the react time, yeah yeah Mikel Mikel. Be, yes he's back and it's good to be back he has an understandable the coach and all that so he didn't play all the qualifiers but then he's going to nations cup as a captain how is he feeling let's hear that from him We had a conversation with the coach. We have a very good understanding, me and the coach. And, uh, you know, yes, I had a few injuries uh, after the World Cup. And also, I think for me, I just needed a bit of rest uh, because, to be honest, I've been, I've been doing this for over 15 years now with the national team since I started with number 17. I think, you know, if you've been doing something for that long, at some point, you will need rest. And uh, I had a good conversation with the coach. Coupled with the injuries, I decided, okay, you know what? I'll take some time off and then uh, regroup. And then hopefully, when we get to the Nations Cup, I will always be there to have the, the team. And that's exactly what happened. You got the understanding, of course, he's back right now. So it's, it's going to help us to win the Nations Cup uh, again. <laughs> All right, let's it's good to have his experience back, uh, no doubt about it. But I don't know about winning the Nations Cup uh, for Nigeria. If Nigeria's going to win the Nations Cup, it's going to be a total uh, team effort. Of course, everyone's going to have to play uh, their part uh, in any uh, potential win for Nigeria. That's, that's just, just the way it is. It's good to have Mikel back, though, anyway. So um, let's uh, still talk about players that are likely to feature uh, in this game. Uh, Leon Balogun as well, too. Um, it's been very, it's been a regular, you'd say, mm -hmm. for Nigeria ever since uh, uh, get But not regular came, at Brighton. But not regular at Brighton. And it'll be very interesting to see if it survives the cut. You believe he's going to survive it and it won't be dropped, despite the fact that he hasn't played a lot of games this season. No, he can't throw. I mean, if he wants to prove me wrong, he will <laughs> drop him. But if he wants to prove me right, he won't drop him. Let's hear from Leon Balogun how competitive he knows that shirt is for him. Uh, five center backs, if you uh, count Shemi and Jair, because he's also very capable of playing that position, and also Chidodi. Um, of course, there's pressure. And um, if you compare me to Kenneth and William, they definitely had more game time this season which is uh, naturally an advantage. But then again, I also think whenever I played, as I said before, I did my job. And I'm, I'm lucky that the coach always has put his trust in me. And what kind of takes pressure away is um, that I always feel big trust whenever I come to the superheroes, which helps me to stay uh, on top of my game. But definitely, um, I know that I have to probably do more than maybe before because um, there are two players who, who have great seasons, both of them have very, very well. And um, then again, I think uh, 
it's the coach's decision at the end and uh, made the best to play at the end it's, it's about us as a team and I was never a player if you watch my history who made any kind of trouble if this should be the case I would definitely be disappointed as anyone but um, we want to we want to go somewhere we actually want I think everyone wants to win this trophy and that must be the ultimate goal and uh, if my job should turn out to be uh, just supporting the team from a bench, psychologically, whatever, then that's it. Yeah, welcome back. Let's give you updates from the Nigerian pressure of Football League Championship playoffs. There you have it, Kano Pillars wow. leading 2-0. In five minutes, they scored two goals. The first one came in 76 minutes with Adamu Hassan giving Kano Pillars the lead. In 81st minute, you have another goal, Iyima Uangwa. I mean, put up, uh, put away a uh, cross from Madaki. And of course, for Kano Pillars right now, they are leading Iba to go to nothing. Mm. Okay, that's, that's, this Iba is what happens the uh, when you don't take your chance uh, when they come. And, uh, it's very difficult to see uh, Iba coming back uh, and getting anything out of this result at the moment. It's just uh, barely it's five minutes. Uh, five minutes to go uh, mm -hmm. plus injury time. So we'll see how it pans out. I mean. Incredible Maybe. things I mean, have they, they, happened. They scored five in two. In, they so scored I know two in five minutes. So Imba can also do but that. Kind of players <laughs> don't look like that kind of side that, uh, that will you know, throw a, a two-goal lead uh, with just two minutes to okay. play. Let's move on quickly I now. I tell Cup <clears> last <throat> season. Okay, let's no, move no, no, <laughs> on. Let's talk about, um, we're still talking about the Superior Goose. Yeah. Uh, some of the players, mm -hmm. are, you know, a lot of them are actually hoping uh, mm -hmm. to make the final score to Absolutely. the World Cup. The likes of Ahmed Musa, I don't think there's any doubt about that. He's making it. So, Ike Chukweze was also no doubt. No doubt about what about that? Samuel Chukweze? If the coach drop him, nothing to say. But then let's get reactions from the three players. <laughs> How they're expecting to, you know, compete for that uh, shirt for the Super Eagles of Nigeria in Egypt. Yeah, for me, as a player, if you allow that to come into your head, you never improve on what you're doing. As you can see, we have a lot of strikers, not only Amir Musa and the top. At the end of the season, we have a lot of strikers that uh, have like 20 goals, 17, 15. For me, I end up with seven because of the injury. So I think we have a very big opportunity to go far. The goalkeeping department, we are here like a brothers. We have to wish anybody that is in goal the very best because we are here to represent our father's land. So once we get an victory, it's an accolade to all the team. So Uzo is like a brother, Daniel is like a brother. So I will always pray for them so that when they get to my door, I will always do my best. Okay, uh, that's Ike Chikweze one now. Let, let's listen to uh, Chikweze, you know, talking about making it into the squad. And everyone has been asking him, why didn't you go for the 20? I'm happy he didn't go. Uh, but right now, he's really super good squad. Uh, like if we see if we can listen to Chikweze, you know, talking about, you know, opportunity to really play for the Super Eagles of Nigeria and if he can how he's going to give his best and all that but uh, he's one of those stars we actually yeah, uh, we for, want him to make this for call. me he's got to go to the to the uh, to the nation's cup yeah. um, he's been he's had a break uh, through season for Villarreal he's Nigeria's uh, most uh, exciting uh, prospect uh, right now and um, if he doesn't go to the nation's cup it's going to be a massive uh, opportunity lost uh, for his uh, exposure uh, and what he actually brings uh, to the team as well. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the player, 
I don't think there's too many players there that can 1v1 that is better than him. You can go past this play uh, as Marker. He's very skillful as well, too. He's got an eye for, for, for a great pass Absolutely. as well, too. And uh, I think he will make uh, the Afghan squad. Let's listen to him now, right? All right, let's hear from him. For me to choose the African Cup of Nations is very, very important for me because for my club, I've been preparing my mind since um, from under 19 to the first team in Villarreal that is almost went to a relegation. But with the pressure in the club and everything, and my mentality and everything that helped the team to be in, in the first division this season. So I don't see any pressure on my side, but I know everybody's looking up to me to do some, <laughs> to do different things. <laughs> but I know I'm mentally fit to face any challenge. That's smart. He's ready to face any challenge. I mean, he had it at Villarreal in Spain, a competitive days, trying to help his team avoid relegation and mm. all that. So coming to the national team, no pressure at all. Yes. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's different playing for your national team, though. I mean, there's a lot of pressure uh, yeah. coming from the fans as well. Too. But it looks like a well-grounded yeah. uh, player and looks like, and talks about being mentally ready uh, to face any kind That's of pressure. That's what is important. Very, very important. So we wish you some of Chikwe's there. All the best. Tomorrow we'll find out the 23 players. That will make the final squad for the Super Eagles for the 2019 Africa we go. Let's start with sports in life and everything has to do about the Super Eagles of Nigeria. Um, how Gennett Roy is going to drop uh, two players after tomorrow's game. And sports in life is saying is one striker and uh, one midfielder. And I have a problem uh, with the one midfielder because we've just got about four midfielders in that team. So if you drop one, uh, how many are you left with? But... I mean, that's the job of the manager. That's his uh, job. That's his prerogative. Uh, he still knows on... how to convert players, so he can convert, he can one convert any of the forwards uh, into the midfield. So midfield. All right, then, fair enough. We'll see. Uh, I went on sabbatical. That's according okay. to a uh, very funny coming from Mikel Obi. Uh, Hazard will join Real Madrid for £130 million. Pounds. I mean, uh, that story has been, uh, it's been out there for a while, and it mm -hmm. looks like it's coming nearing a conclusion. PSG won the here as Buffon's replacement. Interested Manchester City reject 30 million pounds into bid for Danilo. Uh, 25 Eagles in camp. Okay, we talked about already. William to pay new Chelsea contract. Uh, Neymar, the richest uh, uh, with 90 uh, million dollars. That's for uh, athletes under the age of 30. Of course, it makes a lot of money playing for uh, PSG as well as, uh, you know, from his uh, commercial deals as well to Liverpool. Keep 70, 71 million pounds for Pepe. That's the Ivorian. Mm -hmm. We're going to see him at the Nations Cup as well. He's mm -hmm. had a fantastic season uh, for Lille in the French uh, League. Let's go to Complete Sports. Yeah, Complete Sports here. And Mikel is on the front page again. And here he says, I'm focused on winning 2019 AFCON. I told Good. you. And Balogun ready for Igo's shirt war. Yeah, he talked about that on right, the show. And Yekuru set for Gala. Latasaray loan return. Okay, that's good for him. I mean, he's, he's done a great deal for them. So you he don't want him to move on. No, not really. I mean, let him stay another season, then yeah. he can get a bigger move and see if he can replicate what he did last season. Getting through says, Ian Acho is back and better. Huh. So for those that are actually hating him, he's not going to make it uh, from what the coach is saying. Or maybe it's just a ploy. That's a hint a there hint for us. Okay, strong one. This guy's going to make it. Yeah, we'll see. All right, let's uh, look at the last one. Sporting Sun here and a calf dangles 14.2 million at Super Eagles of Nigeria and uh, Real Madrid to unveil Hazard next week. Do it already. Okay. Something on boxing? Yeah, Ruiz. absolutely. Ruiz, what's he saying right here? He's demanding. He's demanding 40 million for rematch. Come on, they can easily give this to you. So 40 million? 40 million <laughs> for rematch. Much they, they need to make much, the money. How much did Joshua make in the first bar? 40 <laughs> million. I mean... This we, might be a clause of him going to England to play also. Perhaps. That's the thing. No, no, for the bars, I said play. For yeah. the bars also. Yeah. I mean, 80,000 people coming to watch in Cardiff. Ah. You know how much that's going to be? They're going to make so much money from that. See, if mm. Joshua is going to rise again. Mm. So, so much money is coming. Interesting. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, we'll see. We'll see. There's still no date or time yeah. uh, or venue uh, for that particular we'll bar. But that's going to be revealed uh, shortly. That's the okay. end of the show. Finish yeah. line quickly before we go. Okay, full time is Canopy Last 2, Aiba. There. there you yeah. go. Thank you guys for joining us. I'm Cecilia Mogbe. Have a fantastic weekend. I'm Tyre Salam. Enjoy the rest of your day.